The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to Reason's new sequencer. You may be used to the way the old one works, but in a few minutes, you'll be well in your way to better workflow and a more enjoyable Reason experience. If you don't see the sequencer right away, make sure you just resize upwards from the transport bar. If you need more room, just click on Maximize. Let's go over some of the basic lingo and architecture. Those familiar with previous versions of Reason will find the interface has been simplified. For starters, each device in Reason gets its own track in the sequencer. See if I create a new device, we automatically see it down here with its own track. Previously, a single device could appear on several tracks in the sequencer, and once you had a lot of parts going, it could get confusing. Instead, each device track can have a number of lanes for notes, automation, and patterns. That maintains exactly the same level of functionality that keeps all the information pertaining to a single device together in one spot. We can arrange the position of the tracks in the track list by clicking and dragging. In previous versions of Reason, when we recorded notes into the sequencer, we had the option of putting a box around notes called a group. This concept has been outmoded in favor of putting everything into a group from the get-go. Only they aren't called groups anymore, they're called clips. Just visually looking at the Arrange page, we can see that tracks of single lanes in the sequencer. Most devices that can be played have note lanes by default. Some pattern-based devices, such as the Matrix, have pattern lanes by default. We can more easily see the multiple lanes on tracks by unfolding the tracks using the arrows on the left of the track. It's perfectly obvious now what kind of data is contained in the clip, whether it be notes, automation, or performance controllers. Now instead of having so many different editors as we had before with Reason 3, we have all our automation neatly embedded in the track. Each form of automation has its own lane. Making clips different colors, though, is always helpful. We can make a clip any color we like by right-clicking and selecting a color. We can also give each clip its own name. Just right-click and select Add Labels to Clips. Tracks can also have their own color, which can be set in the Edit menu. Any clip you create on this track will assume the new color. This concludes our introduction to Reason 4. Have a look at the next video on recording.